You can send Ms. Farley in now. longest week. Oh, you know, you say that every week. And every week, I mean it. So, shall we get started? Yes, but Wonderful. I need to tell So, I think, something. like, the biggest thing this week is it's my body image. I just, I don't know what to tell her. You know, I mean, what can I do? I get home and I see nothing. Have you told him how you feel recently? I know we spoke about this a few months ago, but he may have forgotten. I guess I haven't said anything recently, but I will. <laughs> and then I'll report back as always. Good. But we have to spend a minute talking about next week. Why? I'm afraid it will be our last session. I'm sorry, what? I tried to tell you earlier today, but there was a lot to unpack. Well, and you I'm should have, like, cut me off or something. Are you serious right now? You had to know this was coming up. I told you last year I wanted to retire. Yeah, but then you didn't. You understood that you couldn't. I mean, you can't. You need to calm down. I don't calm down. That's why I'm here. We don't have time to discuss this now. We'll talk about it further next week, okay? No, not okay. You can't just leave me like this. Caroline. You had to have known that this was happening last week and you said nothing. It wasn't definite then. What? Wasn't definite. These sessions are for you, Caroline. Well, you already ended today's session, so just spill it already. You are in no position to order me around. I'm not ordering you. I'm just trying to understand why you're leaving. I don't need to justify my choices to you. I know that. I just... I thought maybe you'd want to. Look, Caroline, I really need to see my next client. Is your next client more important than I am? I mean, I've been coming into this stupid room at least once a week since I was 17. Doesn't that mean anything? Of course, but... Then why won't you tell me what's happening? What am I supposed to do without you? There are many other therapists. I'll help you find a new one if you need assistance. Do you seriously expect me to rehash everything about myself to someone new? You don't need to rehash anything. You would tell your new therapist what you want them to know to help you. Why don't you keep helping me? That's personal. Well, I tell you what's personal about me. I'm well aware of that. Like, I can't be that taxing. You're not my only patient. But you're my only therapist. What if, what if it happens again? Needing to find another therapist? No. It. You got through the last one. I had you. If I tell my next patient I'll be ready for him at 11.05, will you respect that? Okay. I'll be back shortly.
don't like change. Life is all about change. What a stupid line. Doesn't make it less true. You know, sometimes I feel just like I did when I first walked in here. We all feel like that. But you've made me proud. Then what changed? I mean, you can't still be proud if you're leaving. You know, maybe, maybe if you stayed here. I've been here because I'm your therapist. And you keep scheduling appointments. We can talk about this more next week. What if I paid you more? Don't be ridiculous. No, I'm serious. Your insurance pays me, Caroline. Well, I can, I can give you extra. Just tell me what I can do. There's nothing you can do. But you said that we can always do something. I lied. To me? How could you? Stop making everything about you. I'm sorry. Sorry, Judy. Please, just tell me what's wrong. We're friends. You can trust me. I'm not your friend. Look, Caroline, I've... 